The new proposed hunting regulations are still causing a stir around British Columbia. The guide outfitters say there is no impact on northern BC hunters, where the BC Wildlife Federation disagrees. The Guide Outfitters Association of British Columbia and the BC Wildlife Federation have been trying to find a suitable allocation policy for the last 15 years. On December 10th, Minister Steve Thompson announced his decision on what he thought that should look like. But neither side seems to be happy with the numbers. The big picture is uh, we're concerned that this shift is a uh, move uh, towards privatization of a public resource places like BC parks, uh, fisheries, wildlife populations. Uh, the objective in most jurisdictions is to maximize the importance or the value to the people who live in that jurisdiction. You know, if we're going to move away from this traditional model where British Columbians can access public resources to a time where it's privatized, it, it really concerns, you know, the greater public, not, not just hunters. There's differences all around British Columbia, depending on the zone that you live in. When you look at the What's happening for Zone um, 7B, which is the northeast part of the province, which is uh, the south piece is in that. Uh, some of the changes, uh, it's only on three animals is what's happened here, is bison, grizzly bear, and mountain goat, where there were some changes, uh, 2%, 4%, and 8% uh, on, on those numbers. Uh, but again, it's, it's one of those things that, I, you know, talking to a lot of the resident hunters around here, uh, any change at all is for them is viewed as um, a negative because obviously it could possibly lessen the hunting opportunities locally. We're blessed in the province of British Columbia with 18 of the North American um, 29 big game species. Most of them, including I think almost all of them in the piece, are on some form of general open season with handler, antler or horn restriction. Uh, general open season means you can buy the tags over the counter. I'm further south or in other parts of the province where the hunt needs to be distributed um, uh, over time and space. Uh, you see LEH opportunities for the resident hunters and you see the guides on quota. Uh, as far as the peace goes, um, I see really, you know, of all regions around the province, no impact in the peace whatsoever. Well, even though for our region it's not a big impact, uh, you know, for instance, one of the people I spoke with today said, even though it might not be a big impact in our area, if there's a big impact down south, where it seems like the majority of the discussion has been, um, what that means is if there's less opportunity there, will those people come up and hunt in our area? I, I think it comes back to the, the philosophical approach to, uh, you know, what's our objective with our public resources? Um, is it to maximize dollars exclusively or are we going to look at other things like social and values that are placed on our public resources. Even though both sides disagree with the other party deserves number wise, they can still agree on one thing, that their main focus is preserving wildlife in British Columbia. The guide fitting community is pleased that uh, after 10 years of, of, uh, of work that the minister uh, and the Ministry of Forest Lands and Natural Res Resource Operations made a, made a decision that seems to be fair and balanced. It's not exactly everything that we felt we needed, but it will provide certainty for the industry and it will allow hunters and those that care about wildlife to, to focus on growing more wildlife. And, and we truly appreciate that. Reporting for Chet TV, I'm Callie Warren. Just a week ago, MP Bob Zimmer, MLA Mike Bernier and community members met in Dawson Creek to speak about what this means to them. Another meeting will take place January 29th at the North Peace Rod and Gun Club in Charlie Lake.